Welcome back to another video. It's the one only pocket. And today we're going to be talking about Gideon and Tommy and his beef. Let's get right into it. First, if you can go check out my new song called Lonely, it's going to be the first link in the description. Okay, so Def Noodles posted this and said, who could have seen this coming? Gideon denies harassing Tommy in it at TwitchCon. This comes days after Tommy posted a YouTube video calling Gideon out for bullying his fans at a meet and greet. So yeah, this happened like four or five days ago. Basically, Gideon and Tommy in it have some beef going on right now where Tommy made a live stream and he was talking about how his fans were reacting negatively towards Gideon and saying that he harassed them at TwitchCon and stuff. Well, Gideon posted this on his story and said, it really sucks that there is an article and a huge Twitch streamer going around saying, I harassed and bullied these kids in a meet and greet line. So far from the truth. And if I didn't have the footage, I would have no way to disprove all this. But a video drops next week and it'll disprove all the lies on my name, but none of them will apologize for hyping up the lies, but at least my real ones will know the truth. I'm gonna try to go the month of August with no drama, but it's getting hard. And yeah, it's true. Tommy in it did call out Gideon for trolling him at TwitchCon. I'm gonna roll this like simplified video right here, this little clip that Death Noodles posted. So roll it. During my meeting, uh, this f***ing troll dude creator shoved into the line and started being a, being a dick to you lot, being super rude and just a f***ing prick. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't see him earlier and sort him out. Uh, I spoke for a long time with the Twitch staff about it afterwards. I didn't really know what to do and they were so caught up in making sure I was safe that they didn't check up on you lot, uh, which is really annoying, but I'm sure they'll have more security on at the lines at San Diego. Uh, I'm also getting in touch with the creator right as soon as the stream's done, uh, since they recorded loads of it without, like, my consent or the fans' consent, uh, and I'm sure they'll do the right thing and not publish those sections me and my fans are in. Anyway, chat, this happened. You know, some dude shouting at my fans, shouting at you lot, uh, just being mean with no purpose, and it, it sucked. It really threw me off, uh, and, like, a lot of... A lot of people in the line. I was really, I was really sad about this. I was really angry about it. Uh, and I'm not like, guys, I take pride in not being an angry person. Like, I'll get pissed off at Tubbo. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm never really angry. I'm never actually angry. Uh, and I wasn't planning to talk about any of this publicly. But it made me, like, actually pissed. Uh, and I just want to share a few words with my stream. Okay. So, you know, first thing I did after speaking to the staff was was message everyone that was affected by this dickhead and just check that they were okay. Uh, they were. I got confirmation. So that was really good. That's the most important thing. But it feels important to speak to you lot, like, like everyone, about this. You can't do that to people. You just can't. Okay, I don't want anyone to feel like they're in fucking school being made fun of when they're lining up to meet me. It's like, I won't have it. Don't make fun of people for being passionate about shit, being happy. It's, it's, it's fucked. Won't have it. And yeah, Tommy is basically in this video saying that, you know, his fans are reacting negatively and that Gideon was harassing them and that Gideon should do the right thing and not drop the video. Well, somebody named Honest Warriors fan dropped this and said, Tommy in it, Gideon harassed my fans. And then here's a clip of Gideon. Um, I guess this is a clip of the meet and greet with him and Tommy. So roll it. <laughs> And yeah, you know, you see, it's not, it's just Gideon being Gideon, right? He's just trolling. He's just, he's not doing any actual harm. Come on. Well, I got some live news that I don't think anybody else on YouTube probably has because I'm the fastest motherfucker on here. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, Tommy in it hates me plus Frick Twitch. He dropped this stream right here, Gideon, and it's a pretty fire stream. He basically just goes in here and just, it's still going actually right now, but I watched most of it and yeah, he just pretty much went into detail of what happened and reacted to Jaden's video talking about the Gideon and Tommy in it situation. And yeah, well, basically I have a little clip of what he was saying like a little bit of like the simplified stuff so go roll it basically harassing and making fun of tommy and it do you guys think i harassed or was making fun of his fans yes or no yes or no man like be honest with me hey i'm not gonna lie if i was to make fun of anybody in that line i would be the biggest hypocrite in the world because i got in that line you feel me? So Tommy ended up addressing this on stream and he kind of calls out Gideon here and even says that he reached out to Gideon to delete the video that he got of Tommy in it. it. Alright. What I will say is, and now if he reached out to me on Twitter, I haven't seen anything on Twitter. He might have reached out to me on Twitter. But, I, ha I, I obviously I don't have my Twitter, but Instagram and all my other social medias, I have not gotten a message from Tommy. Tommy has not slid in my DMs. I slid in Tommy's DMs, but Tommy has not slid into my DMs. And his fans. During my meet and greet, uh, this f***ing troll dude creator shoved into the line and... I hope you know the situation that I'm in right now because there's a lot of accusations going around, right? So, I'm gonna make an analogy real quick. Uh, let's say a guy said that LeBron James recorded him beating the fuck out of him, right? Let's just say that. Brody went to a, a Lakers game. LeBron... 
got his iPhone during halftime, started just pounding him in the face. Just so happened that nobody was looking. They were probably watching Russell Westbrook shoot some bricks somewhere, okay? So LeBron James records himself beating the freak out of this dude. He goes on Twitter, talks about it. He makes a video talking about it. But the guy that got beat up, that, that said he got beat up, says, I don't want LeBron posting his side of what happened. I, like, do you, do you feel like the situation I'm in? So I understand you don't want to be in the video. I understand you don't want your fans to be in the video. I completely understand that. But the situation I'm in right now is I have to address what happened because it's being addressed by everybody else. I haven't even looked at the footage yet, but Hersey already looked at the footage. And, you know, we're, we're, we're going to drop the video, and then, you know what? It's not going to be a he said, she said thing. It's just going to be like, what the fact? And, yeah, seriously, like, after hearing Gideon's explanation and his side, because, listen, people were shitting on, uh, you know, Gideon from the Tommy Inna community, and it's like, come on, guys. He's got the video footage. He, he wouldn't be talking out of his ass. He literally is one of the biggest prank YouTubers. He's not going to go out there and just harass somebody with a huge audience and just try to get that much backlash for himself. Obviously, we don't have the footage, and I'm not going to try to be biased in any way, but, like, guys, come on. I, I just don't see Gideon doing anything crazy or, like, super malicious or super out of pocket when he knows this is a public event called TwitchCon and he listen he's made plenty of videos going to other cons and like you know of events and stuff and he trolls people and people take it to heart so in my opinion I feel like Tommy and it might have fell to the pressure of his fans I'm not gonna assume but he might have fell to the pressure because that dream SP community stand community is pretty toxic they are gonna be on your ass if you don't do that so I won't fully blame him but you know that might have been a soft move right there if nothing happened and then Gideon he definitely seems like he's in the right because he's got the video footage Tommy doesn't want you to drop it you should definitely drop it because come on how are you gonna defend yourself and tommy how are you gonna say that man you need to let this dude show his side of the story if you guys are gonna accuse him of some serious shit like come on but yeah in my opinion i feel like everything is gonna be all right i don't think it's gonna be that deep hopefully tommy and jinyan can just talk it out and work things out and actually maybe make a video together and just troll people because fuck drama man like seriously there's some drama that's necessary when people are doing some shady shit but like when it's something like this and if it gets blown out of portion hopefully it can get fixed but yeah i don't think jinyan's a terrible person i I gotta wait to see what the full side of the story is and i think everyone else should before you assume but let me know what you guys think of you know everything right now and what do you think is happening i think everyone's overreacting but yeah anyways that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching it guys it's been such a pleasure making this i know i'm gonna drop more videos in the future and uh yeah that's gonna be it like we always say hit the like button subscribe if you're new empire out